What it do, bedtime crew? Hey man, listen, we back with another video. I didn't have a video for you guys yesterday. That's my fault. I had a stream though. Today, after UFC Nashville, great event. Corey Sanhagen turned into Prime Khabib. I'm here with a video talking about one contender from every division who should change their fighting style, okay? Now, a lot of people are shitting on Corey for that performance, but I'm going to jump into this. And my goal today, I'm going to make the UFC a lot more boring, bro. Because if you guys didn't like that, man, shit, boy. First things first, flyweight division. Let's get Matt Schnell, bro. Now, Matt Schnell, dude, I like this guy, man. Pause. All right, but... This guy's chin is allergic to punches. This guy seemingly cannot take a single punch without being knocked out. Um, his his biggest skill in MMA is probably his jiu-jitsu. If you scroll down, this guy's got nine submission Ws in his career. You know, He's not really knocking people out. He has no power. He's two and four in, in terms of KOs. So in my opinion, striking is useless to this guy, right? You're not going to knock anybody out, all right? You, you're not going to knock anybody out. You got no power. That's it. You got no chin, no power. That's it. Stop trying to strike. I'm going to turn this guy into a fucking wrestler, dude. Let's get this guy into like a kick, kick at range, then look for submissions type guy. You know, I'm not saying pull guard, but definitely consider it, bro. Because I think Matt Schnell has a lot of potential as a, as a kind of Brandon Roy Val type, like chaotic contender. I think if he just abandons his striking completely and just becomes a wrestler, dude, um, I think he'll, he'll have a lot more success if he's hunting for triangles because triangles are kind of his special move. We may see a, a new mythical fighter. So that's what I'm going to say, bro. Jiu-Jitsu Matt Schnell, like low T Matt Schnell. Let's get him in there looking for triangles, looking for uh, failed situation chips like on some Brian Ortega shit. You know what I'm saying? Let's move on. Bantamweight division. Okay. Pretty, pretty obvious one, I guess I would say. Um, it's going to be... Dominic Cruz. Now, Dominic Cruz, here's the thing about Dom. Here's the fucking thing about Dominic Cruz, you guys. He's exactly like Matt Schnell. No power, no chin. Okay, now, obviously not no chin altogether, right? But he does get dropped basically every single fight. So, at this age, at this time in his career, his footwork, his head movement, his speed is just not where it was in his prime to where he could slip in and out of range, just touch you up for a decision. The one thing that Dominic Cruz still has that is actually quite good is his wrestling. Dominic Cruz, if you look at these fights, they're very deceiving. They're very deceiving, bro, right? He took down Marlon Vera, I believe, pretty easily, was doing well in that fight, won this fight with Pedro Munoz, and that is actually aging quite well, to be honest, won that fight based off wrestling. Beat Casey Kenny with his wrestling. And Casey Kenny is like a high-level judoka type guy. Did well against Henry Cejudo, especially in the grappling. I think he, he did get up quite quickly. Uh, Cody Garbrandt, that was actually a pretty close fight. It, I know it was like a 50-45 or a 49-46, but these were all super close rounds, right? Like you can get a 49-46, 50-45 and still have close rounds, if that makes sense. So all in all, and he beat TJ Dillashaw for the belt with wrestling. So my proposal is... Dominic Cruz, you stop striking, dude. Obviously, keep, like, using your little, like, gay head, work, head movement or whatever and, like, footwork, right? And then, boom, just wrestle. Wrestle every single round. Try and win off wrestling. Turn into a boring fucking wrestler, dude. That's my opinion. I think half of these guys in this video, you're going to see a running theme. Okay, I'm going to say Derek Lewis should be a re No, I'm just kidding. He's not going to be a wrestler, but Dominic Cruz actually should wrestle and protect his chin. I think he can actually beat some of these guys at Bantamweight, okay? We move on. We got Josh Emmett, okay? The warlord, the orc himself, Josh Emmett, dude. Um, he does have very good power. I'm not going to ignore that, but his striking is terrible, okay? His striking is terrible, and his length and his range and his, just his build, it's not good for striking, but for some reason, he is a predominant boxer. I think Josh Emmett should wrestle, bro. He's a, he is a wrestler by trade. He started out as a wrestler, okay? Stop trying to knock people out with one shot. You're not Francis Ngannou, buddy. You're at featherweight, okay? And you need a little bit more skill if you're going to be looking for knockouts. So I think if you mix in your wrestling, you can be the, you know, you can be the the guy that's that's fainting going for those overhands. Just like he did to, to Michael Johnson, right? right? Fainted that takedown, hands came down, big overhand. I think you, he should wrestle way more. And then in between wrestling, boom, big overhands. If that doesn't work, just take him down again or just put him against the cage. I, do, I truly think that half of these guys... Just become way more boring. Just stop trying to entertain us because you are succeeding, but you're succeeding by failing miserably in your fights and getting outboxed. 
Um, and you should just stop striking, to be honest, and just become a wrestler, honestly. So listen to my advice as the best wrestler on YouTube. And we move on. We got Michael Chandler in the lightweight division. This guy needs to change things up. Now, Michael Chandler, I don't think he should wrestle because his jiu-jitsu, it's pretty decent. He's pretty good defensively in terms of his jiu-jitsu. He's only been submitted one time in his career. Uh, that was by Dustin Poirier in his last fight. But Michael Chandler, I think if he mixes things up as he's been doing, he's going to find more success. But ultimately, what I want to see, I want to see patient Chandler. This guy's career right now is very similar to Justin Gaethje when he came to the UFC. Justin Gaethje came to the UFC. He's like, I want to be the most exciting guy, right? You, you succeeded in that. You got knocked out twice. You need to change things up. Just like Michael Chandler. He wanted to come in, fight everybody, be super active, be super exciting. He succeeded. We all love you now, Michael Chandler. Now, let's get some wins, dude. So I think if we get a patient Chandler, focuses more on like calf kicks. He was using those well against Poirier, using those well against Gaethje. If Michael Chandler turns into a calf kicker and just jabs at range and uses his explosiveness to defend takedowns and stay at range and just explode into range, then dart out of range. I could see a lot of success for Michael Chandler. If he becomes more patient um, and tries to use his power in in small bursts rather than s stepping on the gas and just spamming RB and X the whole fight, we could see a, a completely different Michael Chandler that could be a lot more successful. So what I want to see from Michael Chandler is patient Chandler, patient kickboxer Chandler. Okay, we move on to the welterweight division. And speaking of patient strikers, I want to see full-blown boxer Kamaru Usman. No more wrestling. Fuck it, dude. I know that Kamaru Usman got knocked out, but listen, bro. Kamaru Usman, if he stops trying to force the fight on people and he just just uses his jab the way he did against Gilbert Burns, right? If he's patient on the feet the way he was against Jorge Masvidal the second time, right? And just uses the... If he just jabs and clinches the entire fight become even more boring bro you've become a bit too exciting i think that's your downfall right become boring again go back to how you were except less wrestling right because wrestling is going to be hard to do it's very predictable if kamaru usman just stands up for an entire fight and just jab leg kicks at range you know boom big right hands to hurt the guy and then if there's any sort of resistance just run him into the fence and just hold him there dude and beat him up in the clinch. I truly think if Kamaru Usman becomes like a, like a, uh, what's their fucking name? Oh my God. Klitschko. If he just goes full Klitschko mode, just jab, clinch, jab, clinch. This guy's getting the belt back, dude. So I want to see boring, patient Usman. I want to see boxer Usman. Okay. That's what I want to see, dude. Enough of the wrestling, enough of the predictable shit. Like where if you can't wrestle, you just swing for the fences because you want to wrestle. Fuck that. Embrace your striking, dude. Become a striker. Okay, I truly believe Kamaru Usman can outbox a lot of these guys in the, in the welterweight division just off his power and his physicality alone. And if it doesn't go well, just clinch them, bro. Just clinch, bro. Did you ever think about that? Just clinch, dude. When Leon Edwards is going to head kick you, bro, just clinch him, dude. That's easy, bro. All right, moving on. Marvin Vittori at middleweight. How is that even a fucking selection? What the fuck? I'm fucking great at fighting. Listen, Marvin. All right, buddy. You're not, you're, 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 you're not easy, bro. You're not easy, bro. You can't beat easy, bro. Listen, this is what Marvin Vittori needs to do. Marvin Vittori needs to leave his fucking gym. He needs to go down to Florida. He needs to hop in the ring with the king of chaos, Colby Covington. Marvin Vittori needs to become a volume cardio kickboxer, bro. That's what he needs to do. He needs to get on his Lucas Tracy shit. He needs to become a cardio kickboxer. This guy needs to stop worrying about his power completely because his chin is next level, right? So you can take a punch. Boom. Just run at the guy. Spam punches, spam kicks, spam takedowns. Go full Marab. Marvin Vittori, I'm giving you the pass right now to go full Marab on these motherfuckers, dude. Please, bro. Stop trying to, like, counter punch and, like, hurt these guys or take them down and submit them. You're not submitting anyone in the UFC. Like, I don't know why people think Marvin Vittori is this crazy good grappler. You need to stop trying to use skill is what I'm saying to you, Marvin, okay? Listen, bro. Stop trying to use skill that you don't have to beat guys that you can't beat. All you have to do is just use your toughness, use your cardio, and just make sure and hope that they gas out and just spam takedowns and punches on them. Legitimately, if, if Marvin Vittori fights like Colby Covington, he will he will go on a win streak, okay? That is genuinely my advice. Marvin Vittori needs to become a cardio kickboxer, okay? Let's move on to the light heavyweight division, all right? Let's move on to one of the most talented stack division, one of the greatest division of all time, light heavyweight. Let's get Anthony Smith a new fresher paint, dude. A new coat of paint, excuse me. All right, you're attacking my family. 
Uh, just don't get attacked by you. Don't get your family attacked. That's my advice. No, okay. Listen, real advice to, to Anthony Smith as to what, how to change his fighting style. If I'm Anthony Smith's coach, right? Um, Jesus. Um, I would say this, right? I think we should we should get Anthony Smith as Paul Craig. Let's get Anthony Smith to fight like Paul, Paul Craig. I'm not saying pull guard, but I am saying that any means necessary for you to get these fights to the ground and turn them into a grappling match and try and sweep your opponent or triangle them immediately, you should do that. You should avoid boxing at all costs. If, I, if I'm Anthony Smith, I'm avoiding boxing at all costs. Okay, he's been cracked by basically every single person he's fought. He just simply, I don't think he, I just don't think he has the power or the technique that some of these other guys do in the striking. Whereas in the grappling, we've seen Magomed Ankalaev get submitted, right? So even if you get taken down, you can submit these guys. He's a good grappler, bro. Anthony Smith's jiu-jitsu is probably his best weapon, dude. So I'm going to say Anthony Smith's toughness and his jiu-jitsu, just run at the guy and get him to the ground by any means necessary, bro. Literally just fucking pull guard, jump on him. Like, do whatever you need to do, bro. I truly believe that if Anthony Smith just spams kicks and knees and then pulls guard and tries to sweep or get a triangle or an armbar, he can he can beat a lot of these guys at light heavyweight. He's got good enough grappling that he's better than most of these guys at light heavyweight. So, let, that's my advice, dude. Anthony Smith, calf kick, pull guard, look for subs. That's your new game, all right? No more boxing, no more striking, no more your family's getting attacked. And you won't get calf kicked as much if you pull guard, so... Maybe that will help him with his biggest weakness of the leg kicks. Because leg kicks fucking suck, dude. I feel you, bro. All right. Last one. Heavyweight division. If I'm going to change one fighter and I'm going to change their fighting style and I'm going to gonna tweak their game to get them as successful as possible, I'm picking Derek Lewis. All right. I'm turning Derek Lewis into a, stri- into a grappler. No, 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 no. Listen, dude. Real shit. Derek Lewis. I think the big misconception people have about these brawlers is, bro, they need to clean up their technique. They need to be more technical. Right. We want to see, oh, dude, if Derek Lewis was just like slightly more technical, he was slightly more patient. Nah, fuck that, right? Don't run away from the from the autism. Fully embrace it. I think Derek Lewis should go full Pavlovich mode and just run across the octagon and try and knock the guy out as quickly as possible. I think if he goes full in Ganu and just spams punches until he or the other guy goes down, he will win way more fights, dude. Okay, because Derek Lewis, I think he's trying... Sometimes in his past performances, you get the sense that he's trying to like be a better fighter, right? But don't just don't be better. Just be even more wild and use the only thing that you've like you're consistently better at than everybody, which is power. Like just run across the cage and just spam fucking sh- punches like hooks, uppercuts, body shot. Just throw everything at the guy in the first exchange like Sergei Pavlovich and just KO everybody, dude. Honestly, that that is genuinely how I would. Co- I would be like... Look, dude, we're not going to get you into crazy cardio shape. You know what I mean? We're not going to teach you better technique that you just don't give a fuck about, right? We're just going to train you to go across and knock out anyone in one exchange, like in your first like two minutes, right? Just run across and spam punches. That's it, dude, right? And if you get taken down, just stand back up, dude. He's literally good at that. Derek Lewis is the only guy I've seen in MMA who can legit just go, all right, fuck this and just stand up, dude. So that's what Rob Font should have done. Rob Font should have trained with fucking Derek Lewis, bro, because... Derek Lewis looks better on the mat than fucking Rob Font did on the weekend, but somehow that's Corey Sanhagen's fault. But listen, boys, that's my full list of contenders that should change fighting styles. Let me know what you think of my ideas down below. Give me some other ideas down below. Who would you want to see change fighting styles? What do you think of my suggestions? Am I wrong? Am I right? Did I miss somebody? And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think down below. Make sure you drop a like if you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, bro. And uh, yeah, make sure you go follow me on Instagram at Bedtime MMA because... I just released the tape, all right? Go see go see the go see the story, bro. All right? See you in the next video. Goodbye.